so in this video we'll carry on from the uh, the first uh, video where we showed you how to create the uh, the contours in the Parkmaster CAD system and we're now in the wire EDM software and as you can see the two contours because they had uh, two uh, datum positions have been transposed so that they're now coincident with each other which is what we want so when we come into the uh, wire edm software the system will automatically create um, a, a two axis program for each contour that it finds now in this case uh, we don't need that so i can simply delete these uh, machining operations that have been created we can stop it doing that if you don't like that okay so um, we need to create a four axis operation so to do that we go to the four axis um, tab at the bottom here and then we need to choose the contours so this is the contour that will be uh, where we want them to be we'll set the offset and the direction of cutting and then the distance between the two contours okay so that creates the machining path for those two contours and if we look at that if we wanted to we could animate the wire so we can see that moving on the screen now it could be of course that the uh, the synchronization points between the two contours are not exactly uh, as we want to machine them so what I'll do next is show you how we set those. Okay, so we go back into plan view and then we use the synchronize button here. So we've got the two contours as we want them to be. So now it's a question of this is the start point of the contours. So now I'll add the synchronization synchronization points to where I want them to be. So this will force the wire uh, between these two points. So this is showing me the bottom contour and the corresponding spot on the top contour. So I can now do the same thing and just step around and introduce synchronization points to force the wire to be where I want it to be in any given position. Now I can adjust all the colors on the screen if uh, you can't see them too clearly but you should get an idea of exactly what it is I'm doing here so because it switches one contour off and the other one on as I'm doing it it's easier for me to see where the synchronization points are actually going to uh, take place okay and when we're happy with that we just run the job and now you can see that it's synchronized the positions in the top and bottom of the contours so that the wire transition is exactly where I want it to be. Okay, so this is the, the wireframe view. Now we could go back into there and we can add and we can modify the synchronization points if they're not exactly where we want them to be but in this instance it looks like they're pretty much exactly where i need them to be uh, so we can then post process that for the uh, desired machine tool but before we do that we'll run the 3d simulation which will give us a solid view we're using a four axis wire edm machine so it creates the data and submits it to the uh, simulator and then when we get into here then we can view the component in various uh, ways so the first thing I'll do is uh, I'll just uh, switch to transparent stock so that we can see okay so those are the two wire guides and the stock and then we have simple video controls at the top here which run the program so we can speed up and slow down the display the feed movements are shown on the right hand side here <clears throat> Thank you. 
Over here we have the view controls where we can see the component from various views. If we want to, we can switch off and invert the shape so that we can switch off the guide so we can see more clearly at what's happening there. Okay, so that gives us the simulation and we take the uh, geometry file down to the machine and cut the part.